Here's a video to help you understand what to do on slide six of your assignment. Uh, you're going to identify the letter that corresponds to the given line and if it's parallel or perpendicular. So this first example here, I took, I looked at y equals negative three over two x plus four. So in order to identify if a line's per parallel or perpendicular, I'm going to look at the slope of the given line. So here, the slope I want to recognize in the given equation is negative three over two. So if my slope is negative three over two, I'm going to look in these answer choices and look for a line that's parallel or perpendicular. If it's parallel, it's the same. If it's perpendicular, it's opposite reciprocal. So here I have negative four. I don't, the slope is undefined for B. In Y, the slope is negative one fourth. And in letter D, I can recognize that the slope is positive two over three. So if my original slope is negative three halves and I find the slope of positive two over three, I need to recognize that that's gonna be perpendicular and letter D corresponds with this question. The next, next example is Y equals negative one fourth X plus four. So I wanna recognize that my slope is negative one fourth and I'm gonna look for either the same slope for parallel or the opposite reciprocal for perpendicular. So here I have negative four. Well, if I have negative one fourth, parallel would be exactly the same, negative one over four, or perpendicular is the opposite reciprocal. So the opposite reciprocal, I would change the sign, it would be positive, and I would flip this fraction, four over one. So my perpendicular slope should be a positive four. Well, positive four and negative four are not the same, so letter A doesn't correspond with this. Letter B, the slope's undefined. Letter C, I see negative one-fourth as the slope. So if I see negative one-fourth as a slope, that is the exact same slope as the line given to me. So I wanna recognize that this is per parallel, and so letter C would go here. You're gonna do the exact same thing for the next three examples, and remember, if I have an equation as y equals five, this is a horizontal line, it's a special case. So if it's a horizontal line, and I'm looking for a line that's parallel, well, it would be another horizontal line, and it would be y equals. If I'm looking for a line that's perpendicular, I'd be looking for a vertical line. Vertical lines have undefined slopes, and you write the equation as x equals a number. I hope that helped. Go ahead and try the next three on your own.